Hello friends. So welcome again to another session on theorems of triangles and its angles. Now we have taken one corollary of the previous angle sum property which we saw in the previous session. The corollary says if the bisectors of angles ABC and ACB of a triangle ABC meet at a point D. Okay, so you can see bisectors of angle ABC, which is BD, and bisector of angle ACB, which is CD, meet at point D, then angle BDC. Okay, BDC is this angle. You can see that is given by beta is equal to 90 degrees plus half angle BAC, which is given as alpha. So the corollary is given here. So beta is 90 degree plus half angle alpha. Take 30 seconds pause and understand the figure. After that, what we'll do is we will try to validate this and in different configuration of the same triangle, we'll try to validate that indeed beta, which is angle BDC is equal to 90 degrees plus half angle alpha which is BAC okay so first let's validate it and then in the later part let's try to prove this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the configuration of triangle ABC and in all the cases in all situations we must have this particular relation always true okay so I'm going to change the position of A so here I go so you can see I am changing and I am now here at this point so again you can see beta is 90 degrees plus half angle alpha in this case alpha is 60.41 degrees so half of 60.41 plus 90 is 120.21 degrees okay so wherever i take b the relation always holds there is nowhere where it doesn't hold isn't it i can change the location of b as well see i'm changing the location of b as well but then in that case also this angle is 90 degree plus twice this angle isn't it so if i change c as well the relation is going to be true so at any configuration you can see you can pause the video and see that this particular relationship always holds now we will look at the proof of this corollary what is a corollary corollary is nothing but a statement in mathematics drawn from a particular theorem so that's a corollary okay so next let's prove this particular. so here is yet another theorem which says that if the bisectors of triangle abc and acb of triangle abc meet at the point d then angle bdc is equal to 90 degrees plus half angle bac okay i simply read the statement let us now try and understand what this means we just saw the validation by the way in the previous part of this video where in GeoGebra we established this particular theorem that is indeed if you take a triangle ABC and this angle or BD let's say is the divisor or BD is the angle bisector of angle B and CD is angle bisector of angle C so if this angle is alpha this angle is beta this angle also is alpha and this angle is also beta that is what is the meaning of angle bisectors now we had just uh, saw in the previous sessions angle sum property so we are going to use that property to prove this so angle bdc what is bdc so let me call it gamma bdc is gamma and let's say this angle is delta so don't get confused if i'm using such greek letters so alpha beta gamma delta so let's see the proof now so how do we do this proof first of all the the customary step given what is given uh, bd and cd are angle bisectors angle bisectors of what angle abc and sorry i have to write angle abc so this is angle abc and angle acd correct 
and the word respectively respectively why because uh, there's one on one mapping that is abc's bisector is bd and acd's bisector is cd okay so to prove to prove angle b d c is equal to 90 degrees plus half angle b a c correct or b d c is or you have to prove what gamma is equal to 90 degrees plus half delta this is what we have to prove let's try and prove now we don't need a particular construction here so you can say in so i'm saying in triangle in triangle abc in triangle abc what can i say delta the angle a that is plus twice angle alpha plus twice angle beta so three angles put together delta twice alpha is you can see this is twice alpha angle b and twice beta is angle c no problem in that this is how much 180 degrees and what is the reason behind my writing such things angle some property of a triangle correct isn't it now this let it be equation number one next is i'm writing here so that everything is in one frame second i can write in pay attention to triangle bdc bdc so same angle some property will hold here as well so gamma plus alpha plus beta is equal to 180 degrees isn't it yeah what is this again asp i'm writing in short form asp angle some property of a triangle and I can do some manipulation over here what manipulation can i do i can just multiply this by two so multiplying this whole equation by two why did i do this you will come to know just in a while two alpha plus two beta is equal to 360 degrees isn't it let it be two okay now we will do one operation what is that either or you can say two alpha plus two beta let's say what is it 360 degrees minus 2 gamma isn't it right and from 1 from 1 what can we say 2 alpha plus 2 beta is equal to 180 degrees minus delta right so this is let's say 3 this is let's say 4 so you can say from 3 and 4 the lhs of 3 and 4 are same if you see correct so we can equate the rhs as well so 360 degrees minus 2 gamma is equal to 180 degrees minus delta isn't it so if i simplify i will get um 2 gamma is equal to 360 degrees minus 180 degrees plus delta okay now this is what the, nothing but 2 gamma is equal to 180 degrees plus delta right so what will be gamma guys so i'm going to multiply this equation by half or divide by 2 whichever way you want to say it and this is equal to gamma is equal to 90 degrees plus delta by 2 correct and this is where gamma is equal to 90 degree plus delta by 2 and this is what we needed to prove check right this is what we achieved okay so please remember this corollary as well